pound pimples. Don't scrub ahead 15 seconds. Listen to this. Do you like yummy jerky? You do? Well, you're in luck because this episode of the Poundcast is brought to you by LouisvilleVeganFoods.com. LouisvilleVeganFoods.com is where you can find all your favorite flavors of Louisville vegan jerky. They also have toppins and mouthwater and Welpdale chocolates. And right now, you can get 20% off your entire order if you go to LouisvilleVeganFoods.com and use the code word POUNDCAST. That's right, 20 whole percent off your entire order. You could also find Louisville vegan jerky at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and other tight ass stores. So treat yourself and support the Poundcast by going to LouisvilleVeganFoods.com and using the code word POUNDCAST for 20% off. Peace. Welcome to the Poundcast. I'm Doug. One of your hosts, and we got Brent over here, or is it this way? Oh, right. Here. I'm right. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Brent. And, and we got a good show today. We're talking to our friends, Andrew Michon and Johnny Pemberton, and we joked around and had a good time. Yeah. This, you, a classic pound, this is a classic Poundcast right here. Also, classically, you really should check out the After Dark, which is the sort of bonus uh, extended episode um because it gets really funny on that um there's a lot so a lot of laughs on that and that's you can access that um on the poundcast patreon which is patreon.com slash poundcast and um it's a bargain you get you get a lot of laughs out of that i'll tell you it's a bargain look this is a mom and pop show and if you want to support us, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is, you know, our sponsor, Louisville Vegan Foods, LouisvilleVeganFoods.com. Use the code word Poundcast. You know what to do. And also, um, for video versions of the show, you can check out YouTube.com slash The Poundcast. And, um, yeah, that's about it. It's a, it's a fun – we've had some funny, fun laughs in there. You should check it out. And check out the video, too, because there's some funny faces. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of funny face kind of stuff lately, but we can't help it, you know? Mm-hmm. That's right. What else should I mention? I, I feel like that's about it. I mean, I have a Patreon. If you want to check me out there, patreon.com slash Doug Pound. Um, I guess I get, I, I've been putting up some old videos, you know, really ancient stuff, kind of fun that I would never show in public, but only to my pound pimples. I mean, I guess while we're at it, I mean, I have yeah, this. We're at it. Game, Go for it. I have this video game music podcast um, called the Legacy Music Hour, and there's a Patreon for that, which I share with three other people. Um, but it's uh, I on that Patreon, which is Patreon.com/slash/LegacyMusicHour. Um, I do game reviews on there, and uh, there's other stuff on there as well from the other people who I share it with. And I guess I've been doing Twitch lately somewhat so that's brent weinbach games on twitch so yeah i gotta um, get on that i gotta get on that twitch maybe we should do our show on twitch and do it live and then we could like talk to the you look at the comments and eh, maybe maybe in 2021 which is it is now 2021 when this will appear yeah so, I mean, maybe we could do look that. we're in another we're in a whole nother year right now that's kind of cool huh? um we're in a whole other year, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm excited about Poundcast 2021 because I think things are going to be a little bit different. What do you mean oh. by that? Well, because I thought that one episode we did where it was just one-on-one, just me and you. Oh, yeah. That was fun. So I think we should do that more where we're just me and you just talking once a month. One-on-one. Every, one out of, yeah, once a month we'll be doing one-on-one episodes. Yeah. Unless there's someone they, that we just can't deny that they got to be the guest. Right. You know? Someone we can't deny. Let's do that. We'll do it like that. Straight like that. Straight like that. All right. Do we have a remix this week or are we just going to like go classic style, new year, new, new year, new year, new year, original, original theme song maybe, huh? Yeah. How about that? Let me just check to make sure there wasn't any that we haven't used yet right now. Okay, well, the remixes I don't think I, are, I'm for those sure. of you who are new to this, we, I put the stems for the remix, or for the theme song of the Poundcast on the Patreon page. And the Pound Pimples have been remixing them. 
like crazy. Yeah, and there's there's some excellent remixes, and there and also I, you could do this too. I I did a sort of cover, an interpretive cover of the Poundcast theme song, and you could download that, and you can do a remix of that too. Yeah, somebody already did that. And, and two people. Is there, is there any new it. remixes out here, Brent? There's no new ones right now. So okay, well that's fine. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do in 2021 is make a new theme song. Ah. And it'll be, you know, the one that we've been using is so basic. It took me, I just kind of made it, you know, it's just like three notes and it's very simple. I'm going to make a more advanced one. That way the remixers can go crazier than they've ever been, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, let's roll the tape. Let's roll the show. We got uh, Johnny and uh, Andrew. Okay. Sounds we'll good. On, we'll get on. We'll play, we'll play some kind of music here. And then we'll roll we'll, we'll probably we'll, play the original one. This is the last time you'll ever hear the original. Last time ever. Last time ever. Roll the clip. Let's go. Welcome to the Poundcast. 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 Welcome to the and I'm recording. Welcome to the Poundcast. We got all kinds of white boys and one African American and one <laughs> one Asian American. Actually, you know, there's a lot of different ethnicities. It's a diverse going group on. today. We got white boys, we got African American, we got Asian American, you know. Other, other. We have European Americans. I'm going to get I, my. I classify as other. I'm getting my DNA checked sooner or later. We'll find out. You know, maybe I'm diverse. People don't realize <laughs> that, that good. Andrew is African American. I am not African American. Brent likes to say that. Yes, you Uh-oh. are. No, I'm not. I have family who it's are okay from if Africa. You are. It's okay but if you are, Andrew. They're Jews from Egypt. That doesn't count. Yeah, that counts. Oh, That's African. Uncut they, gems. My, yeah, they're uncut gems. My grandparents are uncut gems. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so did, did they like move to Egypt from some other European place? They moved to Egypt from Cleveland. And um, really? are you serious? I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, they're from Syria and Egypt. My, gra- my, direct, my grandparents on my father's side, but they're Jews. And then they I mean, they're uh, Jewish. moved west. Yeah. They're Jewish. Well, I mean, if, if what they say is correct, the human, humanoids or whatever, Homo sapiens started in Africa, yeah. right? So we're I mean, all like, African yeah. Americans. My grandparents are kind of like the prototypical Homo sapien. You know, they did. You're they did. The they followed the path. If you You're go like original. great, 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 and add like a hundred greats, we're probably African. We're all African American. What about Neanderthals? Well, not American, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all, all African American. American. We're all African. we're all American, baby. We're all American here. When you look, when you think about it, if you trace everything back. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're from, you're an American. <laughs> what part of the world you're from? You're China, American. wherever, you know. I'm 100% guaranteed American. I actually found out last Christmas. That was our Christmas gift. Was it was freedom? No, from my mom. We did a DNA test and she's 100% American. And so I'm at least half 100% American. <laughs> okay. How, what did that test consist of? It was a DNA saliva, blood, it's blood saliva. Blood you prick saliva. Your, you prick your tongue and you spit into a cup. And they did so that it's the blood mixed with the saliva. 100% American. That's what they said. I met this guy. Um, he came up to me on the street and he was like, hey, did you ever want to know your, what your background is? And I was like, okay, sure. He's like, I got, the, I got a cheap kit for you. He's like, give me 50 bucks and like a full shit. Not like a little, <laughs> not a little like toothpick Ooh. amount, but a log. A log? not like a little, log. you know, when you do the DNA, it's like a little test tube. He wanted a full, a log? full bowl. He didn't a want full those. log. He's like, I need at least one, two logs. Did he give you okay. a toilet to do it in? He insisted he watched me do it in the park. <laughs> in the park? or? And he, 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 he held the bucket, this little wow. bowl. 
Hands on. And I gave him 50 bucks and I gave him my shit. And then I never heard from him again. I'm oh, just ripped off. I keep texting him. I think he's, I think he's just taking a while to figure so it out. Mm, I think that means you're 100% a fool. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a fool. It's a good deal. It was 50 bucks. The, the other ones are like 100, 200 bucks, man. I just want to count the legal votes. Mm. Count the legal turds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, what do you what do you been? Oh, so we, here's our guest. Welcome to the Poundcast. We got Johnny Pemberton and Andrew Michon. Hey, Andrew. Welcome. Hey, man. Hey, Welcome, Andrew. Johnny. So, How are you? When was you? the last time you guys ever talked? Uh, what do you mean by talked? Right. When was the last time you guys saw each other? In person? Yeah. When was it? I don't know. Was it? Uh, I mean, did you come to probably my on um, March? No, no, never mind. Actually, oh, were you at I my birthday? Know. Where was it? In my house. I think I didn't make it. No. Mm. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm not. No pressure. I just, for me, that was kind of like the last of, like, it happened like yeah. February 20th or something. And it was kind of like the last time I saw many of my friends. I don't think I have seen you in a very, very long time. It's been a while. You just said this. Yeah. Well, uh, did, did, were you at my birthday? He's like, no, I think you missed it. Oh, well, I didn't invite you. I just, <laughs> I was just was wondering if you were there. I was <laughs> you, waiting for that to come. It. Did you crash it? Um, did yeah, I mean, I saw. I actually saw Brent the other day for the first time since March. Where did you see him? Uh, he was driving down my street and he honked. Wow! And then, I, and then I went to my driveway and we and he made me keep thirty feet away. And Wait, said, how, did, how did you know that he was there? Did he say, "Hey, I'm going to drive by later"? And honk? no, so he used to do that. Like, actually, related to the Poundcast on on his way back from the Poundcast, pretty often, like maybe once a month, maybe twice a month because the podcast is recorded at Doug's house normally, and my mm -hmm. house is kind of in between the two, he would come down my street and honk. And I would come out and we would talk. And back before the pandemic, we would kiss and hug and stuff. And we'd lick, um, we'd, lick we'd do it all. But, you son of a bitch. So, and then we'd like go get dinner or something. So it was kind of classic for him to come down my street and honk. So, but it hasn't happened obviously in a very long time. So someone was honking on my street the other day and I, and it was so foreign to me because it had been so long that I was like, no way that's Brent. And then I went out and it was. And, but it was at night too. It was at yeah. an hour where actually the truth is, is it's not just when I come from Doug's house. It's, you know, if I'm in the area, I might honk sure. to see if he's home. If I see his cars in the driveway, I'll just honk. And, and also if I see a light on in the kitchen, I'll honk and you know, maybe he'll come see me. <laughs> That is so and, stupid. I can't. No, it's cool. Like that's like I. That doesn't seem like something Brent would do. What do you mean? Like, honk. Sounds like he does. It's like a. It's like a public dis nuisance. It's like a disturbance. No, I don't. Yeah, it's not bad. I just go. I just go honk honk. You know, I just. It's Brent, like a, a nice night honk. honk though. A night honk. That's like a big deal. I'm gonna make no, my hair just, like Johnny's hair. A, no, it's just a honk 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 honk. You know, a like night just, honk. It's just. <laughs> it was only for. Um, it wasn't that late too was you know kind of in the in the nine o'clock like 10 30 oh that's a so night no, it was like in the nine o'clock hour you're gonna say like it's like 6 30 you know because it gets dark at five now i thought you're gonna say oh around 6 yeah, 30 now that biden's six, the president you know just dinner time for your average good hard-working american 100 percent american at 9 p.m. you know in in chicago you know what they called that when um somebody would honk outside of someone's house a polish hello well it's similar. It was kind of a racist remark, but I'll I'll switch it up. What was it called? They called it a Polish doorbell, but it was not Polish. It was another <laughs> type of doorbell. I don't know what that. What that <laughs> Since I'm Polish, I could do it. <laughs> a Polak doorbell? Have, did it start with Polak? P. It also started with P. Poor oh. person. It's not really a racist uh, name. Portuguese. It's just like, a Portuguese. It's doorbell? a Portuguese doorbell. I was in a Portuguese neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, a plowman's doorbell plowman p-l-o-u-g-h anyway all that is to say it was nice to see brent for the first time in a long time did you guys talk I'm trying to think of what that is keep we talked distance, see if you can though. figure it out brent is it a derogatory term for no it's not a derogatory term it's just a it's just an ethnicity it's just an ethnicity oh is it it, it is an ethnicity yeah and it starts with p, p. oh a uh, a Filipino, a Filipino, Puerto Rican, Filipino Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican doorbell? Filipino doorbell, Puerto Rican doorbell, Puerto Rican doorbell. Was that it? 
Is it you really? Can't, ladies and gentlemen. You're canceled, Doug. You're canceled. Am I canceled? Me. I'm just repeating what people, I would never say such a thing. Is it really Puerto Rican? <laughs> yeah, I was in a Puerto Rican neighborhood. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans in Chicago, huh? Hey, well, that's cool, man. I mean, I kind of feel close to that. You know, I just, I come by and I'm blasting, um, you know, that. Reggaeton? Yeah, sure. And I just like, hey, Andrew, what's up? Come down. <laughs> I mean, I think that makes it worse. I've been to Puerto Rico and it's awesome, by the way. I would live in, I would live in Puerto Rico if, if I had an opportunity. I think the opportunity is now, Doug, because you know what? I was looking up yesterday on where I could go because I kind of want to get out of Dodge. You can't go anywhere. Mm -mm. You're not legally allowed to go anywhere. I had a trip to Hawaii booked, but it got canceled. Oh, but you can go to Hawaii. That's America. Not anymore. What can't. are you talking about? You can't go now? Well, you can't go without quarantining for 14 days. Oh, F my L. Wait, so when you yeah. land, you would have to quarantine in Hawaii? Yeah. For 14 days. Well, look, th that's been like that for a while, but then they had a new program where if you get tested beforehand, you have a negative test, you don't have to quarantine. But then the island that I was going to, Kauai, opted out of the program two days before I was supposed to leave. It's because Kauai so, is like- go to a different there? island. Well, I already had it booked for there. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel, and also cases were so high. I'm just like, all right, fate stepped in. I'm not going. You know what I mean? Can't you just talk to the pilot? Be like, just <laughs> drop me off at the big island. Oahu. <laughs> no? It's all good. I'll go eventually. How long were you going to go for? Uh, it's just two weeks. Just two weeks. So just quarantine and then get out. Once you're out of the quarantine, <laughs> no, 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 fly that's back unrelated. home. <laughs> that's unrelated. Hey, I was going to go I for two weeks. Didn't have to quarantine, uh, ideally. Uh, Brent, I have a I have a knock knock joke for you. Yeah, knock knock. Who there? Owa. Owa who? No, he went to Kauai. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> that's what he was. Oh, right, that's good. Is. That's right. That yeah. is pretty good, actually. Sir, I got one for you. Yeah. Uh, ready? Not ask me a knock knock. <laughs> no, you go. Ask you, go you one. <laughs> yeah, ask me knock knock. Right, knock knock right. knock. Uh, oh right, sorry, knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Wait, no. Ask me knock knock. Ask me knock knock. Knock knock. knock. Who's there? Johnny. Johnny. Johnny who? Johnny be good. I don't know. That's it. That's it. That's oh, it. Oh, okay. That's it right there. Yeah. That's, it. That's so lame. You have to make the other person figure out the yeah. joke. <laughs> I like that actually. The knock -knock. <laughs> I like that. You have to make the other person figure it out. Yo, ask me knock knock. Ask me knock knock, dog. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, Okay, I got one. Uh, I got one. Uh, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? I'm, what are you, some owl? Come on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got you there, didn't I? Well, here, go. You give me a knock, knock. Knock, right, knock. Right. No, no, no. I give, you, I give you the knock, knock. I give you the knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Andrew. Andrew who? Andrew who? And drew a picture. <laughs> Of his native Africa, native Africa, he drew, oh. a, map. He drew a map. A Andrew drew and drew a map of Africa, his home, his native home. Is that like that song by Toto? That's right. He, you and know that Andrew wrote that. Right? Of Andrew's life, he used to come from Africa at night. <laughs> Andrew wrote that. Down in Andrew's home. Knock knock. Who there? Who? Andrew. Oh no, not again. Andrew who? Andrew who? Andrew wrote that song <laughs> Africa by that, That's not how knock knock jokes work. Yeah, none of these are you know working. What I, mean? I just flip knock knock on its head. More like knock, more like ock, more like con con. The way we do it here, we go knock knock or we go nick nick. <laughs> nick nick. <laughs> nick nick. Yo, nick, what's nick. up? Knock knock. Knock knock. Wait, ready? Ask me to knock knock, but say knock knock. knock Wait, knock. I got one. Brent, go like this. Um, Andrew who? Andrew who? Can you knock first? <laughs> okay, instead of a, here, how about this? Instead of knock knock, I go, I go honk honk. You know, like Puerto Rican style, you know? Right. Remember that part in uh, Ace Ventura? <laughs> instead of a knock, you know? Uh-huh. Honk 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 honk. How come they... How come instead of a knock knock joke, why don't they do like a ding dong joke? You know, like a doorbell. Ding dong. That's, that's okay. ding dong dead. You never hear a ding dong joke. Oh, wait, that's this? a good one, Johnny. How about Ooh, yeah. I'll do one? Johnny, it's like this okay. ding dong. Who there? <laughs> I like that. Who's He's, there? Um, you got ding dong dish. 
the ding dong dance. I like that to make it work. You just Doug don't. You just run away. He turned, that, Doug had to turn his head to sort of symbolize him being Looking gone. away. Wait, let me do one. Let me do one. Ding dong. Okay. Ding, ding dong. Who? Hey. Hey, who's there? Hey, who's there? We're having dinner. Who's there? So that's a video only, right there. That's a video exclusive, right there. I ran out of the room. That's how we do a ding dong ditch. What about this? Check this out. Ding dong. <laughs> Who's there? Ding dong who? Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? I can see you. You're Answer. there. I can see you there. Brent. Oh, Brent. hey, Brent. It's like you thought I was doing a ding dong ditch, <laughs> but it turns out I was actually just, I'm kind of maybe somewhat. Uh, I don't know. I've got some kind of issue and I'm just still standing there and I don't even know how to do it, you know? And I'm like, Oh, it's Brent, you know? Also I, one other one. Hong Kong. Got... Who's there? It's Brent. Go okay. on. Okay. Okay. Brent All who? right. Brent who? It's me, Brent. Andrew, come on down. It's <laughs> come on. Let me, let me see that. Come on down and sh show me that map you drew of, of your homeland. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Uh oh, who is whose house is this? This is Doug's house. I'm staying here. I'm sorry. I was trying to find a different house. Jake's what house were you trying to? What? <laughs> trying to what house? Trying to find uh, Jacob's house. No, sorry. he doesn't live. Not around here. But you Jacob? know where he lives? Yeah, his name's uh, Jacob Wetterling. Hey, excuse I, me. I was here. I, I was here, actually him. here. I was here earlier. I, I'm still waiting for Andrew to come down. Maybe oh, I can be of assistance, actually. I'm oh, are you looking guys... for a guy named Jacob. Does he you, live who, here? What Jacob are you looking for? Wetterling. His name's Jacob W. Jacob W? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, JW. JS? JW. No. Um, no, I think it's just JW. What made, what made you think he was here at this house? Because I got a, I got a flyer in the mail about guitar lessons. <laughs> And it said to come to this address on Wednesdays, at, uh, pick a time. And I email, we emailed back and forth a bunch, and he said this was his address. But I think I, I think I misread the address. No, no, okay. that's why. No, I'm. I, that's why I'm here too. Oh, really? Yeah, Andrew does great. Does great lessons. What's your skill level? I'm uh, uh, intermediate. Okay, I'm novice. Uh, okay. Great. Hey, let's get together and jam sometime. Yeah, I'd love to actually. Uh, what's hey, cool? Your, what's your address, your, man? I'll come by and honk sometime. It's one two three Hickory Street. All right, I'm Pasadena, there. Pasadena upstairs. I'll be there. Okay. Cool. Awesome. What's your knock, name? Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, I'm outside. <laughs> what am I Wait, doing? Answer on. the door. Where, 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 who, are you knocking on Andrew's door? You're all at my house. What, yes, hello? I love guitar. Big fan. Hi, do you have 30 seconds to help the homeless? I don't, actually. I have 40 seconds. What do you got? I'm homeless. Okay, because actually the pitch I'm going to do is it takes like 10 minutes. Oh, you said but 30 I just seconds. Say, I just say 30 seconds, and then like five minutes later, you're like, we're still talking in front of this Whole Foods right now. <laughs> You, f you lied to me, and I'm about to give you my credit card information. Right. I only have 40 seconds, so I don't know if that's not going to work. Or... That, that did I, and I ended up giving in to Amnesty International because oh, you, you just wanted to get away. No, I was like, I don't know. They just caught me, at, caught me in a good mood. I was like, what do you got? And it was not 40 seconds. It was, <laughs> 10 minutes. I, was out, I was standing there for like five minutes, 10 minutes. Some, sunburn, ice cream dripping. The guy's going through his iPad, putting it all in. Okay, just one more thing. Uh, when was this? Um, this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it took, Doug took a long time to answer that. <laughs> he took 40 um, seconds at least. This was, uh, no, this was months ago. This is, this is months. I, saw, I saw Andrew this morning. Yeah, Where? we skateboarded. Oh, you guys are cool. We snuck into it. We had to sneak into the skate park. Why? It's closed? It's not, it's not open yet. It's not officially open yet. You mean it's like it's in construction? It's new. No, it's, it's fully done. I, they're just waiting for COVID to finish or something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, to do like an official opening, they're waiting for COVID to be done. Yeah, but it was, I mean, there was other people there. It was packed. What's it, and what's it, it like called? No masks. It was awesome. Uh, it's called, um, it doesn't have, I don't know if it even has a name. It's it doesn't even park. have a name. Well, skateboarders can't get COVID. They found that out recently. Yeah, because they're already so sick that they can't get yeah. any sicker. If you do sick ass rails, you can't <laughs> yes. get COVID. It's true. If your rails are badass, then you can't get it. Yeah. No, it was pretty empty there, but it was right next to the freeway, which felt comforting. What freeway? Two, the, five? The 101? It was 101. very stressful. 
it's, it's, like, very, it's a very stressful, stressful skate park. Why? Because it's like literally you can see the freeway. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, there are cars like no, it's like right on the other side of the fence. They're just like whizzing by. Fifteen feet away, fifteen feet away from your cars are just whizzing by. You know, it'd be kind of fun to do is to stand like as close as you can, put your dick through the fence and piss on the cars driving by. If you had a nice hard stream, you could probably you could probably make that, right? I like that. I like could you that. piss on them? Could you piss on them? You think or no? Oh yeah, you could. I think so. That would be kind of fun. You got to admit that'd be fun. You know what? I would I would do a literally a pissing contest with you guys if you ever wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of all that. these figurative pissing contests. Because everything's like, oh, that's just a pissing contest. Pissing contest. Right. What if we did that and see who's really got the stream going on? You know? Is it about the furthest stream or is it about the most urine? Well, here's no, my the theory. Furthest, furthest. Different categories. Everyone wants to have the biggest dong, but I bet in a pissing contest you probably want the shortest one. Shortest? You also oh, you want measure, the narrowest. You it's like less from tip less, to. There's just like less hose to go through to slow down the stream. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, no, but you can use the length of the penis to right. sort of position the stream in a better projectile way, yeah. so that you can get better projectile. No, nah, you can angle up. Penis, you can noodle. angle up a smaller wiener any old way you want. If the penis oh, is it's bigger, hard. you got to use your tippy fingers. You got to use your little pinky and your thumb, and you're just trying to. Well, I'm not talking about, about a this? micro. I'm just saying. Don't this you imagine that the, the, muscle, the, the muscle that pushes out the pee is going to be bigger and a bigger penis? Yes, yes. <laughs> I feel There's that. Also this, I feel I think, Yeah. I think the rule should be this. The rule should be it's not the length from where you stand. It's the length from the tip of the peen. Yeah, that's what I was so saying earlier. If you have a long-ass dong, you got to yeah. take a step back because right. it measures from like – there's like an invisible line. You know what? Can you go bowling if you mm. foot fault? Imagine if you're bowling. So – the foot fault is like that laser beam where your foot can't cross it, but that's the, that's the tip of the D. Well, I, so, to make it easy, let's just do this down at a bowling alley, down the lane, you know, just because they already yeah. have that fault, you know, it's right yeah, there. Yeah, we'll just piss in the, we'll just say, <laughs> sir, we're just doing a pissing contest. Literally, it's <laughs> only going to make the lanes faster. It's just a, just a good friend, friendly natured pissing contest. You know how they have like uh, ax throwing bars and yes. Like, Pissing what if they had contest bars? What if like piss bars became popular, and they had like a little sawdust area with like <laughs> sawdust. you know laser light laser beams that went across to see who could, you know somehow it digitally read your where yeah. your stream landed. You know, there is this really cool gas station called Eddie Eddie World. I know I Eddie World. This. Yeah, you guys know about it. Love Eddie and, World, man. And they me? have uh, urinals with games in them. And you, you stand at the urinal and you play a game trying to like, I think it's like a snowman game or some, mm. where you're trying to piss and hit these certain targets. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, it's basically like an iPad kind of screen yeah. right in front of your, yeah, I've played that. And yeah. I, I actually was there at Eddie World last week. And did you, have you been there last week? <laughs> I have not been there last They week. got these, um, they upgraded. <laughs> now they're doing them. Um, uh in the toilet they got these log drops they got these um, yes it's like it's like so these submarines are you remember that game on atari with the submarines and you have to like you oh, drop the bomb early to like hit the sub when it comes across mm -hmm. they had that for logs wow that's pretty cool man and there's a what, like if, you have, what if you don't have logs what if you got liquid well, then you got to go. Oh, zone? they have that game too. They have di you, you, when you sit down, it's like, what do you got? <laughs> Diarrhea. Well, you have, to shower the you have to shower the baby. These babies come by and you got to shower them, you know, get them clean. <laughs> yeah. That's actually an old school method of cleaning a baby. Cause it's the natural way to clean a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, it sort of counters what's going on with them. So yeah, it, it's really clean. Mm hmm yeah, if you have good, good, a good stream that's uh, clean, you've been drinking a lot of Bud Light or something like that, it's a real good to just clean up a bowl. Now, Johnny, you use the bathroom a lot. What's your favorite yeah. bathroom? What does that mean? Like in the world? In the wild, yeah. In the wild, like just in the world, like I've been to in my life? Well, okay, say you're on the road. What's your go-to? Like, I got to pull off the freeway. What's, who's got the good ones? Well, it's not so much good ones, but the one that's guaranteed to be not the worst and to be available to public is usually McDonald's, actually. Hmm. I've heard that. I've heard yeah. McDonald's is really clean for some reason. McDonald's is usually pretty clean, and it's also always available. Some gas stations don't have, you know, they were like, oh, you can't use it or something like that, or, or they're broken. Yeah, gas stations like are that. in, you know. They're not gas stations reliable. are the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Unless you go to Eddie World, that is a good. They have the yeah. good bathrooms. Where do you go? Eddie World is that a gas station though? Eddie World yeah. has a gas station there, and then on their, basically for those who don't know, if you're driving from LA to Vegas, somewhere in the middle, there's a place called Eddie World. I think it closed though, actually. And there's but no really? other. There's nothing else on the exit except Eddie World. It's not like it's in a town. It's just like you get on this exit and you're just in Eddie World. <laughs> it's an attraction. But then and it's not called Eddie's World. It's called Eddie World. Eddie World. World. I know. It's, <laughs> That's it's, the best part about and it. And they have, cool. it's like a giant place. <laughs> and they have, for some reason, tons of candy, like the kind, and it's, like almost bulk candy, but it's all bagged. Just like weird bulk, kind of well, any, anything you can think of, like chocolate covered pears or something. They would have. Usually, the candy seems like it's kind of local candy. You know, it's like farmer. And they, it's like and they farm have like candy. They have like farmer sushi candy. and they, they have sushi. sushi they have and, pizza. Uh, they have... It's really good food, actually. And by the way, it's still open, Brent. It's not closed. It's still open. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I got an email from someone saying, oh, I'd be scared if it did close down. Like that, you know? Hey, just uh, send you an email here at uh, Eddie World. <laughs> just so I'll send you an email real quick, let you know that I'm closed. <laughs> Well, Brent gets a, he signed up for a thing from the government when any business closes because of the pandemic, he gets an email. Email blast? He's been flooded. Yeah, he's been flooded. Well, they closed for a while and then they, they announced the, the log drop game and then <laughs> the, the customers came flooding back. They were driving from flooding. all over the interstate area just to go to Eddie World's bathroom. Flooding. Yeah, back, it was a big huh? log jam in there. Eddie World has so much stuff. They have frozen yogurt, whatever you want. You know? how, how have I never been? It is really cool, I gotta say. Johnny, I told you guys to stop there one time when we went to Vegas. I, I don't know like, what to tell you, man. I was like, hey guys, trust me, stop at Eddie World. Don't. No, Andrew and I went there together, actually. I mean, there. Johnny is what I'm saying. It's possible I, that I did stop there, but I just don't remember it, maybe. I mean, I did my bachelor party there. We didn't even go to Vegas. We just went to Eddie World, you know? We just kind of went halfway, and it was pretty fun. I'm looking it up right now, so I gotta know. Don't you guys know. hate when people do this? Um, uh brent say to say oh me and andrew never went there oh me and andrew never went there no no johnny and i have been there before are they like kind of correcting you you have you ever has that ever happened to you where they're like they're correcting you but they're saying something else that you didn't say they're like subtle subtle about it you mean like say it I've again been, i've been there <laughs> you have i have been there no no <laughs> johnny we've been there before you've been there <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I have. I have been there. No, no, you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? Wait, I don't. I'm trying to under, I understand. Just, I've encountered this before, where like someone's correcting you, but you're right or something. You know, like. Oh, I, okay. Like something so, where it's like. Uh, <laughs> so say you're saying something about that's personal that you know the, the truth of. Like, yeah, I've never had uh, someone take my shoes off for me. No, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah you, yeah, you have. No, say you've been like no. It's when it's no, like so. Take, so like you say you've been Eddie there World before. Wednesday. Right, I've been there before. Yeah, no, no, you've been there. I remember. <laughs> oh, so they're saying like. <laughs> so they're saying that you're. Yeah, they're not you, but they're you. agreeing with you. <laughs> they're not hearing you. <laughs> I have. I've been there. No, you've been. No, there. No, no, no. You've been there. You <laughs> have been there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just said that. I know. I, Wait, say I that you said I've been there. World no, 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 no. You've been there. Anyway, let's move on. Now that I corrected him. I think this is gaslighting. This is gaslighting right here. Doug, say you went there to Eddie World on Wednesday. I went to Eddie World on Wednesday. No, you went there on Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, no, no, no. No, you went there out. on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm glad no, you see you what I'm saying Wednesday. now. Brent's right. You went there on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah no, you Brent actually went it. there on Wednesday. Yeah, he went there actually, on Wednesday. Actually, you went there on Wednesday. That's how you do it. Wait, can you hold on a second? Hold on a second. What? Yeah, he went there on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. He said he was. I just Wednesday. said that. Yeah, no, I know. No, no, you went you there on said Wednesday. that. You went there on Wednesday. <laughs> Don't you remember? You went there on it's, Wednesday. It's like gaslighting, but you're like convincing them that they're right the, about something they already you're, said. You're convincing, them no, that you're, they, you're convincing them that they said it wrong. Yeah, you're convincing them that they're wrong about something that they already said, but you're agreeing with what they said. Yeah. <laughs> it's very complicated. <sighs> We're going crazy, guys. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're going crazy. No, I I know. What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. You do know. You do. No, know. no, no, no. You're just going crazy. It's fine. Yeah, I know. I'm going crazy. That's what I say. I know. Yeah, no. You, you, you know. That's what you said. No, 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 no. no. I know. You're no, going. I know. You're the one going crazy. No, no you're, you're going crazy. 
No. It actually becomes an argument. <laughs> yeah. Like they're against each other. Until you, you switch their position. They like they end Straight up. Straight up the opposite. argument. You guys start like doing this. wait, wait, that. wait, Andrew. Keep doing it with me. Keep doing it with me. No, you're going crazy. No, no, no. You, yeah, I'm going crazy. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you're going crazy. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not going crazy. Wait, so <laughs> they you say switch. you're going crazy. Say it to me. No, no, this. you're going crazy. Yeah, you're going crazy. <laughs> I don't get what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a, a one of those uh, kind of like child. It's like a it's right, like, thing, you know, like you're just, saying the same word, but it means something else. Yeah, right? exactly. But it's, you're agreeing with that what he said in the in the first person, but when you say it in the right, 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 it switches. It also sounds a little bit like something called acting class. Ooh, tell us more. Sounds like something like a game you play acting class. Like my life is crazy. My life is crazy. My life is crazy. You got the part, Johnny. My life Those is are all crazy. great reads. All My great life reads. is crazy. You got the part, man. My yeah. life is crazy. <laughs> that reminds me of this. I, maybe I've talked about this before, but there's this phrase, the sentence, um, I, I've never sucked his dick, or I've never sucked <laughs> his dick. If You can say it. It means something different five different ways if you stress the different words. So it's like, it's like I've never say, sucked his dick. I've never sucked his dick. It means like other people have sucked his dick. Right. You know, I've never sucked his dick. It means like you just you've never sucked his dick. I've, like, never I've never sucked, sucked his. Dick. I've never sucked his dick. Meaning you've done <laughs> other things to the dick, but not sucked it. I've never. Um, sucked I've never sucked his, his dick, dick. Meaning you sucked other dicks, but not his. I've never sucked, sucked his, his dick, dick. Meaning you've sucked, sucked his other his things. Ass. So, so there's a lot of. It's interesting how depending on what you stress. Brent, in can that, you stress there's all five of them? words. It can mean five different things. But you know what, can I, Brent? Can actually, I hear you saying it? Stressing all of them. I think it can mean about a thousand different things because you could say stress. I've stressed right. dick. Interesting. So like, Let's try that. I've like, never sucked his dick. Wait, I've never sucked his dick. Or you could say uh, never and um, sucked. I've never sucked his dick. I think, I think it's still five. Sucked. I think it's still his five five ways here. Dick. I think it's still five. I, I think it's more. I think it's more. I'm gonna put cash in the barrel head. There's more. I'm willing to bet there's more. But hold on. Okay, explain good. one way that it that it's more than five. But I have a sixth one. It can mean this, and Andrew might have just said it, where it's like this. I've never sucked his dick. <laughs> That's like, pretty good. You're the dick, like for asking. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I like that. What'd you say? I've never sucked his dick. Wait, what? You're what saying the. Like, you you call. I'm calling you a, a dick. dick or something. Oh, interesting. I've never. Like, sucked I've never his sucked his dick. dick. I've never sucked his. I've never sucked dick. his dick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Six ways. There's six. i That's different. It, it's it's you've never. I've never sucked his dick. How about this? Andrew suggested stressing every word. Yeah. Try what is it. that? Well, I wonder what that's. I tried like. it, Brad. It's hard. That's to just try screaming. It. I've never sucked his <laughs> dick. <laughs> That's like I a guess murderer. that is another meaning. It just means you have some kind of condition or something. If, I, I imagine if somebody window? talked like that always. That would be like the worst person on earth also I mean, what if that is a condition where they just don't know how to stress words because it's like that is a part of speech yeah. it's like what if you just can't stress words maybe they had a stroke or something but now there's an <laughs> uh, here's an, one other way i just thought of a new way you can say this this seventh way or actually eighth way i guess watch this i've never sucked his dick <laughs> the question oh that's good right. that's good okay seven his dick it's meaning he sucks his dick it's, it means like he doesn't. I don't know what it means exactly, but I think you can make on. all those questions though. You can make it. I've never sucked his dick, or it's like I've never sucked his dick. I've never Honestly, sucked his dick. Another way is you. Take I've it, never you, you, sucked his dick. He said that. Right. I've never. Uh, sucked another his way dick. is is you stop making it so negative and you turn it into like I've sucked his dick. I think that's a little better. <laughs> well, wait. Just get rid of the negative. It. Like, well, I wonder. The I've sucked his dick podcast. Ways. Like, I've. It's like, I've, I've sucked his dick. Meaning, you know, it's 
well, not, not a lot of people have sucked it, but I have, you know? Well, no, you, you're breaking I've the rule. You have to keep dick. all the words of the sentence to make it a No, I know. We're just, I was just tr trying to see if this, if it still worked with only four words and it was mm -hmm. like he said, if it was, you know, if it's more positive, it's like, I've, he's like, I've sucked his dick, meaning like I haven't done other things with it, but I, I have sucked it, you know? I've sucked his I've dick. I've sucked his dick. Meaning, it's interesting. It does kind of change the 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 meaning in a way, you know. Like Brent, I I have a I have an eighth way that you could say it. It means something else. You say say I've never sucked his dick, but kind of mumble it like real mumbly. I, I say I never have or I have. Just say the sentence. Okay. Never. I never sucked his dick. I've never sucked his dick. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm I'm, you know the repeating. I need yeah. you to re repeat what you said. You know when people they do that. Right, right, right. Oh right, that's the way. To do it. You know? I got a new. I got a new. I got a new approach here. Check that's this like, out. What are we at? Eight, nine here. Wait, wait. No, we're nine now. But hold on, Doug. You do do it now. Say it. I've never sucked his dick. No, no, no. I've never sucked his dick. <laughs> you, you have. <laughs> what? Like, okay, no, no, you gotta... no, no, no. I've never. No, you. Yeah, no, you've never sucked his dick. Oh are you bring oh i see you're doing the thing i was talking about yeah 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 whoa we just came no no, no no you've never sucked his dick <laughs> yeah i know i never sucked his dick i just said that <laughs> i just said that well at first i was trying to just say exactly what you said but then uh, maybe that was too confusing <laughs> okay let's move on here um <laughs> Let's, okay, Johnny, so let's move, okay, have, so, let's move so on. Johnny, so what, you, what dicks have you guys sucked? Or? We got to move I, on here. I haven't, I haven't sucked any dicks yet. Today, 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 today. I've been off dicks for about three to four months now, and how my name is Bill Jason, and I haven't sucked a dick in twelve years. Johnny, I got a, I got a question about acting class. A ask it because uh i should be an actor i should be at these auditions getting these parts you know yes. I, I, that's what a lot of people say <laughs> but i'm better than everybody done. everyone's yeah. wrong everyone thinks they're good and they can they're great but i'm i really am the real deal right no i just so, thought it'd be a fun thing to 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 do maybe take an acting class where should i do it and is it and should i do it or is, uh, is it, are, are my natural talents so strong that I don't need, I don't need to be part of this uh, acting class class or whatever. What do you call it when it's just, it's a format. It's like a, a mold. I don't want to fit into their mold, man. Mm, you know what, man? I think that maybe if you don't want that then you shouldn't, but um, I think that everyone takes class, even De Niro, baby. Who should I take even my class with? Where do you, where have you uh, taken classes at? I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Come on, I mean, tell us. Josh Fadum no. is always saying. I'll tell you. You should, you should take an acting class always. He's saying. Acting class is great. It's a wonderful thing. It's a good experience. Do you and Josh Fadum bond on that? That you guys take acting classes a lot? I guess maybe. I think you guys, Josh do you ever talk about that? All these other comedians, they should be taking acting classes. They would be so much better at acting. Do you, Do you uh, say that with Josh? You and the two of you. I don't know. I think I think together we've probably said everything you can probably say to another person. So yeah, I think we've probably said all the words you can say. There's probably nothing that we haven't talked about at this point. So I'd say yeah, we probably have said that at some point. <laughs> for real. I'm not kidding. Like you well, know, at some point, like you talk with, there's like what haven't you talked about? Well, I guess obviously that, some stuff we haven't talked about. Like, hey, would you like to murder someone with me? Like, yeah, I think I would. We haven't never talked about that. Well, no, I think that because the two of you do take acting classes a lot, and you guys yeah. do act a, a lot as right for you know for stand-up comedians and so the I, I wonder if you guys bonded on that particular point about you know all these stand-up comics they should be taking acting classes because you guys take acting classes you know i guess but i don't i don't think some of them probably shouldn't be taking acting classes i think probably some of them shouldn't be doing stand-up too <laughs> so i knew it was good right but i i bet you you, you know, maybe you guys have kind of said he would be such a better actor. This person would be such a better actor if he took acting classes. I think that about everyone. Right. Everyone's I mean, that e way. Everyone would be better at a skill if they practiced it. Yeah. 
Right. 100%. I think this is what they teach you at, I've never taken a class, but I think right. this is what they teach you. Give me a line to say, and I'll do it like an actor should do it. I got one for you. How about this? You can't handle the truth. You, 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 you can't handle the truth. They just tell you to stutter. To add some stuff. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good um, theory, Doug, but actually it's not true. <laughs> well, they, maybe they tell you to pause. They tell you not mm -hmm. to pause a lot of times because so, the pause handle the truth. actors are always they're always 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 stuttering. Maybe I don't think good actors are. <laughs> Let's see. You can't handle the truth. I wonder if that whole thing works where you can if you stress it the different oh, ways God. it means something different. You, right. you can do it with any phrase that exists. Right. Any in the world. yeah, any phrase in that format is going to be the same deal. That's interesting though. You know, you can't, you can't handle the truth. I mean, you can't handle the truth. You can't, wait, you can't, you can't handle, handle the, truth. the truth. You can't handle the truth. You can't yeah. handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. You, you can't, can't handle, handle the, the truth. truth. It doesn't wait, quite the work. The doesn't really work, but I like this one. You can't handle. The does work. It does like, work. You can't handle the truth. I mean, you could um, fondle the truth, but you can't handle you can think, it. You can well, you think about handle, it. You, you can think about the it. truth, but you can't handle it. You can't handle the truth, no. Oh, shit. You can't handle it. It doesn't work. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. It doesn't work for you. Good luck handling that truth, baby. Good luck. Johnny, what have you been doing during the core, bro? I don't know, Doug. I mean, I, I, was, scared. I was actually scared you are going to ask me that question. Oh, such well, a you could have told me not to ask it. I didn't think I didn't think I would be. I thought if I said don't ask me, then it would just open up a can of worms. Like okay, oh, I, I'll, I'll change the, I'll change the subject. Johnny, wait, how I, about am Andrew? I right, am I right? Andrew, That's a crazy you question. should tell Johnny. You should tell me what Johnny's been doing, even if it's just um, well, you're making I could it do up. That actually, but I was just gonna reset it. I was just gonna say, Johnny, what have you been doing during the core? <laughs> See, that makes it even worse. <laughs> That's like, what have you been doing, huh? I've been doing this and this and this and seven and twelve and forty-six. What have you been doing during this pandemic? pandemic time you've had so much time to self-reflect and work on yourself and build your craft and do this and that what have you done with the time have you done it in a way that would glorify our god or have you pissed it down the drain like a like an old puppy what have you know what i mean don't you hate that don't you hate that question when someone says um hey what have you been up to i remember yeah. someone says that to me i'm like I feel like, oh, what, okay, what's, what have I been up to? What's, uh, what's the thing I've been up to that's, that's the right I, thing to say to this I, person right I also now? Feel huh? like, I also uh, feel like what that, question uh, really, what that question really means when someone says, hey, what have you been up to? What that question really is is, hey, I'm excited to tell you about what I've been up to. Yeah. But they want to wait for you to get through yours. Well, and look, get look, through that's first, okay, let me back up here. I, I don't think in Doug's case is not the case. No. I understand how you hate that question. I hate that question. I hate when people say, what have you been working on? Yeah. It's just like a chore. You have to like put on a little mm -hmm. show and, but that's not what I'm talking about here. Cause you're no, my friend and I know you've been, I, I thought you've been doing cool stuff. You could talk about your gardening and stuff. I, I actually know some something cool you've been, I know something Johnny has been up to cause we were doing it at the same time the other what day. Is it? I can even say if you don't want to say, cause I get it. You know? I want to know, say it. We were doing it at the same time the other day on Monday. Jacking off. Monday. <laughs> Video gaming. Oh, we were twitching. Yeah. Yes, I, 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 I just found out actually that you're on there. I didn't. I just. Didn't I mean, this. Was, I, I look. I gave you a layup to to plug your your <sighs> Twitch. Doug, I'm. So, I forget. I. You know, I just. I forget. I forget everything all the time. I, I forget, just started like, it basically. Oh really? Yeah. I just. I started about two months ago. Oh. Two um, months ago. Yeah. I, I actually. You know. Honestly, I love Twitch. I've had the most fun. The entire pandemic is on Twitch. It's like, I feel like it's kind of saved me in a way. You're playing video games and then talking about it? Most of the time, I actually don't play video games. Yeah, he's Most not playing time, games. I, uh... I, checked your I checked your thing out. I checked out your last most recent one. Oh, cool. One. That was a fun you just, stream. You he just, just talk? hangs out and he kind of messes around, watches videos and kind of just messes, you know, does gr weird graphic stuff and voice stuff. But I do, some I do play video games sometimes too. I just find that to me, it's like if I'm on Twitch, I feel like, you know, I feel like there's like an... Because of if you're a comedian, I feel like sometimes some of us feel this expectation to perform if someone's watching. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times if I'm playing video games, I don't feel that comfortable because I feel like, oh, there's always people watching. I think I should, I should do something at least mildly compelling and not just like, mm -hmm. ah, ah, you know what I mean? I feel like that's... Well, no, I, I, 
I, you know, I, so I do only play games right. on there, but I am, tr I try to make jokes throughout the whole thing to make it funny and make it something that people, I, the, I, the plan is to make it so that I want people who are not even necessarily interested in video games to be able to watch it and enjoy it oh, yeah. you know, as a comedy thing, you know? Do you play uh, like cool games and you like like older NES games? It's all old third and fourth generation. See, so yeah. That's what, when someone, someone told me that you was like, oh, I bet he's playing all these cool right games instead of like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, just old of, like, games, yeah. Boring, Angie's out of here. He's like, this stuff. is talking He's about out. games. Forget these nerds. You guys should I, be on the Twitch. You should be on it. my Twitch sometime. I do podcasts on there sometimes. It's fun. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Are you sharing your screen or how does, how does your Twitch? And I want to know uh, about this for Brent too, because Brent is so lo-fi. Like what, what do people see when they're on your Twitch? What do they look at? Uh, well, go with Brent minor. first. Okay, yes. Let's well, for Brent. me, I have a camera pointed at my TV. And oh. you're seeing my TV screen. And so you see the, you see that it's a little bit like curved because it's a convex screen, you know, like a screen. webcam or what? It's a webcam. Yeah. But I, it's, That's what's great cool, is Brent. I have it set at the right speed so that you don't see the refresh uh, lines, you know, on the TV, you know, like on, on a CRT on a camera, you see the, the refresh lines. You don't see it on the setting that I have, which is cool. And so you get the nice CRT look with the scan lines and stuff. And it looks pretty cool, I think. Damn. And I don't show myself on it. I just, you only hear my voice while I'm playing it. And I, was, and I, I, also I don't have like a, that part about your stream, Brad. I tried to watch it once. I couldn't see you. And I'm yeah, like, I don't, I just don't want to be on camera. And you like, sit down that. immediately. I don't like that part. Well, no, I think you should show yourself. You no, I don't want to. yourself on I, the, in a corner or I don't, something. I, I, I will I just, be I counterpoint. Don't, I don't like, I don't want to be on, here's the thing. It's, I think Brent's right about this. Brent's right. Okay. I have to concentrate on the game and I'm trying to also be funny and, and, you know, do commentary on it. I don't want to have to also be on camera for it too. Right. So it's, you're like, because you're trying to game and be funny, you're, you're going to look fugly and you don't want people to see exactly. it. Exactly. I, I, I get it. Fugly. The idea is like, okay, you can watch what I'm watching. You don't have to look at me. Why do I have to, why does the camera have to be on me? Look at what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? He's like, right about that. And There's then, a lot but of it is, it famous is funny. streamers who don't show their face. And they I guess. But also, it is by the funny way, to be broadcasting yourself doing a thing and being like, why do I have to show myself? It's like well, you're no, putting yourself all, out there you know, in the, such a the clear biggest, way. Some, the biggest, first of all, the biggest, one of the biggest people who do uh, playthroughs of games is Game Grumps on and YouTube. He doesn't show his face. They don't show their faces. Yeah. They just... Well, they're, yeah, because they're so big, you can't fit on the can the screen. <laughs> right, exactly. Because he said so they're the they're, biggest. They're huge. They they're they're huge, <laughs> and they, you don't see. It's just this what they see on the screen. Of course, that's not a live broadcast, but whatever. But anyway, also, I uh, have a thing where I the audio comes out of the TV and into an interface and into my computer. So you're getting a direct feed from the TV for the audio. Is it Elgato? What? Is it an Elgato? What do you mean? Is that your interface? You, there's something no, it's a, it's a Focus uh, Scarlet thing. Oh, okay. okay. I see. And so right, you're right, getting right, a direct right. feed of that too. But anyway, you don't need to see me. You know, it's, there's plenty of places to see me. You know, what, what are you going to see me making a face like this when I'm playing? Oh, yeah, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I would like to see that. It was yeah, all yeah, no. O faces. If I actually did make faces like that, then, then yeah, maybe it would be good. But. What if like once an hour you cut your face with like the best face of the hour? Like, ah! Right. I well, like I did think about well, at one point. Uh, I thought about this. Maybe pointing a camera at my hands with playing the controller, just so you can yeah, see what I'm yeah, doing yeah, on the yeah, controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but I kind of hold the controller near my crotch, so it would basically just be a camera pointed at my crotch. No complaints here. <laughs> yeah. But also, the other problem is this. I think the can I think the screen looks better when the lights are all turned off in my place. So it would be too dark to have a camera on me anyway. You know? What's your uh, what's your name on Twitch? Oh, it's Brent Weinbach Games. Mine's just my nipples. Right. See you there. So it's it's my nipples. No, it's just my nipples. J U S T M Y N I P P L E S. <laughs> Don't make it confusing, Doug. No, no, no. It's it's <laughs> just my nipples. I think you made it confusing with that name. It's just my nipples. But Johnny, what do you do? Um, well, like, what are we looking at when we're on there? Well, sometimes I play Call of Duty. And then how, I, do, you, do you just point your phone at the screen? Or? Oh, no, no. So what it is, I have, a comp I have a desktop PC. It's a, you know, PC. I have two monitors. And I have a, a software called OBS. It's, uh, I think it's called Open Broadcaster Software System. I use that one. You, yeah, yeah it's, it's really basic programming, but you can get complicated if you wanted to. But it allows you to, like, assign. Like, I have a webcam, and I can 
make it small in the corner. I can do it and move it around whatever the fuck I want with it. Um, then I can also transition to scenes. I can show like just my other display. I can show like. Um, can you show you just your nipples? You could, yes. <laughs> okay. Actually, you can't. Cool. No, you actually you can't because that's TOS. That's uh, violates terms oh, of service. Oh, you can't do that. Damn. Uh, terms of oh, that's right. You can't. Yeah, but you can do. So, you can show like user, most user of your username, breasts. Is your username kind of your tricky way to kind of get your nipples on there in a way? It actually is just an old handle I've used in games for years, and I just was like, I use that because I didn't want to use my name. I probably have to change my name to my name eventually, anyways. So. I have a I have an idea. You know how there's video games and those are really popular. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Is there has there ever been an audio game? What about an audio game? Ooh, I like that. Where you don't see anything. You're just listening to like little beeps go left and right and you try to you press a button you, you have, have control the controller it? and you're just like wow. it, it, it's like you're doing pong that actually sounds Pretty like a cool. fucking nightmare that sounds Pretty to me cool. that sounds like maybe something where oh you're stuck in this torture scenario no that could be fun no, what let's let's cool. let's uh cool. it's let's almost like that. a choose your own adventure choose your own adventure podcast but with a controller no you know Whoa. what you could do that, that but also like, I like that'd be the cool idea that an audio book and then you're just listening to it, but you press the which way you want to go. I kinda like that. Well also okay, that's pretty pretty practical, but then I like the idea of it being an action game, uh, where it could be even a part of a video game where you go to someone's house and they said, Hey, I have this new thing, it's called an audio game. It's not a video game. Mm. You say, Oh really? And then you play it and you it just shows a black screen during this part of the game and it's all sounds and you have to react on your controller depending on what the sounds are, you know, and that's pretty cool. And it's in action based. You have to have some cool. pretty like nice really headphones good, cool though. Idea. You have to have like stereo or three, you have to have the headphones that make it sound mm. like. It doesn't even yeah. need to be stereo though. It could just be, you know, if you hear this sound, you have to press a certain button or if you hear a certain sound, you have to press a certain direction or something like that, or, or a certain amount of sounds and a certain amount of times you have to do something, you know, I don't well, know. Well, you know, uh, DJing is kind of like, an audio game because right you're blending the music together and you're matching the beats and you know it's all sound Go i mean i guess me. you kind of look at what you're doing but it's pretty much or, an audio game or what about this like you're talking about a video game you know what about a video job where <laughs> oh, you have a controller and I it's basically that. like you're playing a video game but it's it's it feels like work and it's what not about fun. this what about a video <laughs> job but instead a video of job a video job, but instead of using a controller, you piss on a different little <laughs> holes to make the uh, the job go. Like it's like you're operating a crane, but you operate with your fucking piss. This is sounding fun again. <laughs> I got one. You know, like how you, there's a video game. What about a film game? You know, it's it's on film. It's a video, somehow. right? That'll be expensive. Film. Somehow you can do that. I don't know how that works. Film game. It's film. They kind of had, remember those early video games from like the 80s where it was like Dragon's Quest or something where they would show you like a hologram? Right. It's Dragon's Lair. Dra well, that's Dragon's Lair you're thinking of. Dragon's Lair. So Which is, it it's such a dumb game. It's like you're pressing these buttons. You're like, does this do anything? And then It's it, not it, a hologram. But there was a hologram one too. Yeah, called Time Traveler. That was called Time Traveler. What about Sewer Shark? <laughs> No, I mean, sorry. It's what's it called? I forgot. That's not a game called Sewer Shark. No, it was some game. It's an Sky early Shark? game on that one system that had the little black remote that had the one little joystick, and it was a, uh, it was banned because it was too graphic. It was like called like Night Shark or some shit. It was on like Neo Geo era. It was really old, but it had Brent, cut Can scenes. you confirm this? This sounds like oh BS. oh, they're like porn cutscenes kind of. I'm not full of shit here. I'm not bullshitting you. Wait wait. I just oh, can't remember. Got, it. it was Sega CD game called Voyeur. I think it was, I don't think it was called Voyeur. Was it Turbo it was like thing 16? Where, God, it was so, so old, but it was, one, it was very advanced. It was very advanced for the time. Oh, are you talking about CDI? I might be, yeah, it sounds about right, CDI. There the was a joystick. Oh, man, I, I, we're never going to get it because I'm not going to remember it. But either way, there was a game that we played at a, my friend's sleepover once, and it turned out that game got banned later on because it was like, you know, a guy like raping girls at a sleepover and shit. Oh, oh, oh maybe remember this called game. Night Trap. Oh, Night I Trap. saw this that is in right. that yeah. Night Trap, maybe. Night Trap. This right. is in that documentary or that show about video games. Remember? Isn't it in that show, Brent? I didn't see it, but yeah, I mean, I don't well, we, know. We played that game at a friend's house on a sleepover one time. It could Night be Night Trap. Trap. And it's actually not that 
it's kind of innocuous compared to like the, what games are now. Right. What right. system? But there was, was another show called. There was yeah, another 3DO. 3DO. That's it, it was a VHS game, wasn't it? Sonic 3DO. No, it wasn't VHS. It it did. There was another game it called was 3DO. Voyeur. Voyeur was another one that had some uh, erotic content. Wow. Well, there was Leisure Suit Larry or something like that, right? Yeah, that's that's a classic. That's what's up, dude. Hey, have you, <laughs> hey, have you seen the list of banned games on Twitch? Oh, there's banned games on Twitch? There's about 50 of them, and it's a pretty funny list. We should read it right now. It's what really are they? Yeah, let's hear it. Brothers. Read okay, it. Hold on a second. Read it. I'm bringing it up. Uh, banned Twitch games. It's pretty funny, man. Okay. Some of them are obviously why they're banned because they're sex games. But some of them are like, are you kidding me? There's one called 3DX Chat. That's obvious. Um, artificial girl one two and three are banned so is artificial academy one and two those are really fun the artificial girl games uh, so are you serious Ra- yeah yes. those are awesome those oh. are really fun what are they <laughs> um well the second one isn't very good but number one and three like it feels like it's a real girl i'll say that much uh, okay you're called- full of crap <laughs> no i don't know these games i'm kidding there's one called battle rape <laughs> no uh, yeah I mean, it's obvious sure. why these are banned they're all yeah. just you know well, how about this? It gets better. Cobra Club. Uh, genital jousting. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find some funny ones. There's one here called uh, Purin to Ohuro. There's Purino Party. Radiator 2. Rape Lay. <laughs> Rinse and Repeat. Uh, suck My Dick or Die. Is one of the Wait, really? Uh, there's one called What's Under Your Blanket. And there's also one called Witch Trainer. The Guy Game. Uh, Second Life is also banned. Oh, um, why is Second Life banned? I think it's because of its mature content. Huh. Uh, like sexual content. There's also one called Ethnic Cleansing. And also Grezzo 1 and 2. Hmm. Okay. Pretty funny. <laughs> So if you play those, funny. your account gets banned? Uh, I think so. You're just not allowed to even play them, yeah. You'll get, you'll get banned, I think. So. I'm not sure. We can find so, out. I like that Twitch has some, uh, some guidelines and rules. It's not just this cesspool of crap or whatever. It actually has a lot of rules, to be honest. It's kind Too of many like, rules? I don't know. I, th- I think it's good. I agree with you. It is kind of good because it makes it more like it just makes it better because it makes it like uh, I don't know. It's kind of sometimes it's kind of nice to have some guidelines, right? Because it helps you work around them as opposed to just do whatever the fuck you want. It's free for all. Well, it just seems when you, when there's like no rules and it's like do whatever you want, then it just like the word the lowest common denominator rises to the top or yeah. whatever. It's not like that. It's pretty pretty regulated. I thought of a Twitch joke, but it's kind of it's kind of mean. Just do it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh. He has to do it now. Yeah. I'm, ca- I'm trying to think of the actor's name, but there's an actor who has Parkinson's. And- oh, Michael J. Fox. You see on Twitch. Or- oh, here oh, we go. Brother. Something like that. It's not good. You know. I think he just, you just did it. There you go. <laughs> you get it. Get it. Is he on Twitch? Ah. <sighs> I don't know. That's look it up. Uh, that's look it up. That's All right. Well, that's hey, our show. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. Hey, when's the pandemic gonna end? Do you guys know yet? Yeah, uh, January first. We're good. Twenty twenty is the year oh, that sucks. Really? Twenty twenty one is gonna be good. Day, you know, January first, and it's a new year, and we're gonna be off to the wow, races. That's great. Thank yeah. God. I didn't know I, that yet, but it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I read yesterday that LA had twenty two thousand cases. Uh huh. Um, so that's nice to know that it's not going to be like that in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Uh, I'm so sick of this shit. This episode, guys. by the way, comes out. It sucks. But to the public on the first. Wow, so right? oh, things are good now. Oh, well, oh happy this. New Year, everybody! By the way, Happy New Year! Oh, happy New Year! We're recording this. Um, Andrew, June what a great 13th. show we had last night. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. We did a New Year's Eve show last night. Yeah, we're recording this June 13th, so if things seem out of date. Are you guys going to do a New Year's Eve show? Yeah, we're going to do a virtual thing. Okay. Which yeah. we're, for the people who are the Patreon people, yeah, tomorrow night is the show. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Do what was your favorite part, these, Brent? Do you think these virtual shows, do you guys feel like they kind of suck? No. Like, uh, I, I, yeah. Not like, not, I don't mean like they're bad like, like by their very nature, but it's just like, you know what I mean? It's like a... I'll say this. I'm not seeking them out. I mean, I've done a handful, but I'm kind of like, I don't need to do this every week to feel full. I, I enjoy doing them and I'm happy to do them. And really? I, uh, I, I think they're, they're, it's a good way. It's the best way you can do stand up right now, you know? And I think Twitch is the best way to do stand up right now. Well, that's a different kind of vibe. Seriously. And I do, that's actually part of the reason I do, I don't mind doing the Twitch thing too, is it's another way to sort of keep exercising. Right. Uh, you know, the just brain. doing comedy actually, and also kind of doing improv comedy in a way, I mean, or improvising comedy to a degree. Well, you know, what do you do think, when you do a sh uh, a show that's on, you know, it's like a. So I mean, I prefer the ones where you can hear the audience, which are the ones on Zoom. You know, but right. and it, it it feels like a real show too because they're they're there, they can see each other as well, and you know they can be heard. And then after the show's over people hang out after the show and it feels like you're hanging out after a show. It's kind of cool. I haven't done one of these shows in so long. Is there one I should do that'd be like that? Cause I was, all the ones I've done yeah. felt just like, it felt kind of like, um, I've never done one where you see any audience. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Just me talking to myself. And then the worst part is when you're, when your set's over, you're full of adrenaline. And then there's just like, it just like, boom, you're just nothing. I'm just sitting here by myself you know well, in my room and it it's a weird feeling the ones where you don't hear the audience i i'm okay with that too mm -hmm. you know um that's but i i do prefer the ones where you hear the audience ko comedy is one where you can hear the audience and ko you, like like knockout yeah you, yeah you should look into that one okay i'll look into that one what else yeah there's some fun me? ones i've had fun i you know i think i agree with brandon is the best version of that right now I did an outdoor, like, uh, like a socially distant, safe outdoor show, and I hated it. So but that's I a definitely real show, prefer... though, isn't it? Yeah, but it, I mean, it just didn't feel safe, and it was just like... Oh, it didn't feel it was, safe. It was not fun. Nothing about it was fun. But it was kind of like, mm. well, I just feel like a safe, socially distant stand-up show right now is just like, oh, you want to do perform for a bunch of people who don't care about COVID? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Because they, they, they pitched it to me. They were like, there'll be two people per table max, everyone wearing masks. I go out onto the stage on this patio. There's 10 people to a table, maybe 60 people there, not a mask in sight. And I was just like, this mm -hmm. doesn't feel safe. Uh, my brother's put on a decent show, a good show that is called Vintage. Yeah, there's just, there's just good. There's is good. They, I have fun doing. That's the only one I've done really in a while. They don't have they don't have an audience. Um yeah, I mean, why they don't, don't, they do they don't an audience? usually have an audible audience. You just but, do it but, for the two brothers and that's they, it. Yeah, they, they need to have like people buy tickets and stuff. Why is it just for the brothers? <laughs> well, they like to watch comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but really why don't they have an uh, audible audience? There's because they Twitch, do it with Dynasty it? Type. They do it with Dynasty Typewriter and Dynasty Typewriter hasn't done for some reason doesn't do the live audience thing, but um, or the audible audience that is, but makes um, they did a show last night that w went really uh, well. I thought it was really went really well, and it was there was no audience, and yet it still was it felt good. And yeah, you know, I tuned in and I thought, oh, this is cool. And there was no you don't hear the audience. You know? The thing that gets me is like I'll do like a like one of these Instagram live comedy shows, and it's like twenty people watching max. And if I go on Twitch, I have so many more people watching. Yeah, it makes it way more fun. And the people who are watching on Twitch, they know how to interact with you. It's like a thing where like the, um, how do you say it? It's like the, everything's in place for the interaction and everyone understands the nature of the interaction. So it's smooth. Whereas the comedy shows, it's like people, people just don't quite, I could see you're saying if everyone on Zoom, it can see each other. That, would, that to me would be different it's better. than like other shows where it's like, oh, it's 15 people and people are chatting once in a while. And they're like, act like the comedians can't see the chat. It's like, what? Do you, how come? This, how come this they don't have this technology by now? But maybe they do. The VR thing, where everyone can see who they're sitting next to, and they see someone performing, and then the performer is on stage, and they see all the avatars, and when they laugh, they looks like they're laughing. And I did a show like that once, actually. Really? You did, I did, did you, a VR show once. Too. Did you Recently? wear the, the VR set and everything? Yeah, yeah. This was you know a few, a few years, years ago, ago actually it was a show with reggie watts that i did and it was at jash uh -huh. and it was with, and it was a virtual show where i remember we that vr stage. room they had going there yeah they had yeah. at jash fest or whatever they had a, a vr thing you could do a set as well i did i did comedy at that 
Oh, okay. And it was really fun. You could like see people in the audience. It was set up like a comedy club and you could hear them clapping and you could hear them laughing. And it was actually fun. It, yeah. I mean, it was a little awkward in the way that, I don't know, like you could hear people in a way that was not, you know, like a normal a stand-up show. And in fact, I would say that the Zoom shows that I've done have been felt more like a yeah, uh, in-person show than the, ver- the VR show, you know? Have you ever done an NR show? Because I've, I've done a few of those. In our, in our show uh, no we'll yeah well i did one well the, the other this other comedian was doing an nr show when i was so what happened was i was doing a comedy show not radio yeah. and then this uh this other guy you know i watched him perform and he was going for it he was like really big and loud and you know and then like the crowd was not laughing at all and then afterwards he was like man i killed it out there and I'm thinking to myself, this is guy is not in reality. <laughs> NR. Not in R. Anyway, uh, we've gone an hour. So that's the main show, I guess. If you want to uh, wrap it up, what do you think, Brent? Yeah, I mean, do you guys want to hang out for the next uh, portion? Yes. Yeah. I hope this is fun and, you know. I definitely want to hang out for the next portion. I'm really excited about it. Well, if yeah. you want to keep listening, uh, you can go to like. Wow. Wow. Patreon.com slash. What did he almost say? What did Brent almost say? Just now? His competing this podcast. Every, trying to... every time. And this time he didn't even say mm. Patreon.com slash. <laughs> no, he just know. said, you can go to Legacy. Me- <sighs> Habit. You know, I've been doing that mm. show for 10 years. So Do you go on their show and say, go to patreon.com slash pound Ah, damn it. No, because it's, I've been doing it for 10 mm. years. I'm used to, when I'm used to saying a website, it's, it's just muscle saying. memory that I say that. Patreon.com slash pound And it is, and you can keep listening. And, and Johnny, what's your podcast called? My podcast is called Live to Tape. Uh, you can listen to it wherever the fine podcasts are sold. But, you know, what you really got to check out is twitch.tv slash nipples, and that's where the action's at. The podcast is being transitioned over to Twitch. Do you have a schedule really? for your yeah. Twitch? It's great to do the podcast on Twitch because it's like I can ignore the chat for a piece of it, and then at the end, checking out the chat, people can ask questions. It's fun. It gets stuff, gets stuff generated, and people are really cool. Oh, Brent, maybe we should do that because that would be fun if, if people were chatting and we could, like, have stuff to bounce off. Oh yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, it can fun be, idea. can be fun. I usually Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and sometimes Fridays. But Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah, that's not that much though. Not for normal Twitchers. I usually well, I the mean, most partner. Are you an affiliate? I'm an affiliate. I don't think I'll, I don't. I don't know if I want to have to. If you do partner, you have to like twenty five hours a month. It's not just that. You have to also. The rules are stricter if you're a partner. You have to like, I don't know. It's, it's not really that interesting, but it's more just like, I don't know if I'd ever want to take it that seriously. You know what I mean? Cause it I have mean questions that, for you actually, Johnny, yeah. about the whole affiliate thing. I'll ask them when we go after dark. Okay. okay. That sounds and good. Andrew, your podcast of course is podcast, but outside. I mean, yeah, it's called podcast, but outside we interview strangers on the street. I've talked about it on the show before it's on YouTube and podcast apps and we're also on Yelp. So and on TikTok. there. Uh, oh yeah we are on tiktok now also yeah tiktok but we're on yelp hilarious. more importantly so just check us out on yelp That's hilarious awesome show yelp. Yeah. um big fan all right Thanks. then thank you to Love chloe bonilla jack birch alberto um jackie montana and nathan Pittman. they are our wonderful interns and thank you to louisville vegan jerky our wonderful sponsor go to louisvillevegan.com use the code word poundcast and get 20 percent off how many interns for your 20 20- now that it's 2021, yeah. it's time to start eating more jerky. jerky. Hey, I got a just challenge for you, Doug. Can you offer, can you bump it up to 21% off in 2021? <laughs> <laughs> kind of raise it up, you know? Well, yeah, we're working on that. We're working on okay. that. Okay. Get 21% off. See you next week.